Hello everyone, today's SQL interview question is a hard level problem from Google. And if you want to follow along with me, click the link in the description box below. The question asks for each unique user in the dataset to find the latest date when their flags got reviewed. And then we're asked to find the total number of distinct videos that got removed on that date. The expected outcome must include the first and last names of the users as the first two columns respectively, the date, which would be the latest date that the flags got reviewed, and finally, the number of removed videos. There is, however, a condition to the users expected in the output. The output can only include users who had at least one of their flags reviewed by YouTube. If no videos got removed on a certain date, output zero. All right, now let's dive into the data set to understand what we're dealing with. We've been provided with two data sets, user flags and flag review. Let's preview the user flags table and look at the information it provides. So let's click on the preview button over here. And here we are. So this table contains the first names and the last names of the users, the ID of the video that's been flagged and the flag ID itself. On closer inspection, we can see that there are some null values in each of the columns. Even though the videos of certain users may not be flagged, we would still need to consider them for our final result because the problem requires us to consider each unique user. Now let's look into the dataset flag review by clicking the preview button. So in this table, we've got the flag IDs and a reviewed by YouTube column which is binary, that means the value is 1 if YouTube reviewed the video and 0 if it was not. And then there's a crucial column, the review date, based on which our filters will apply. And the last column is reviewed outcome, which displays the outcome of the review, for example, if it was removed or approved. In the case of the first entry, the value of the reviewed by column is 0, which means that it was not reviewed by YouTube and subsequently, the reviewed date and reviewed outcome don't exist for that flag ID. Let's work out the solution now. We'll be using MySQL in this question, so keep that in mind. From the expected output, we know that we're scrutinizing the videos flagged for each unique user. Seeing as it is present in the user flags table, we can extract it from there. But we also need the latest date. So for this information, we will need to merge the two tables and we can do that using the common flag ID column. Before we begin coding, let's take a look at the question again. So, output the first and last names of the users in two columns, and the date and the number of videos removed. Only include these users who had at least one of their flags reviewed by YouTube. Well, that means that we need to filter the users based on the reviewed by YouTube column. If it is zero, we do not need to include them in the output. And to get the latest review date, we will use the max function. All right, now let's write the query out. All right, so this is a query. We're using max function for the review date and we're calling it last date. We're joining the user flags and flag review uh, tables on flag ID column. We're filtering out by the reviewed by YouTube column. So only the data with uh, reviewed by YouTube equals one will be filtered and um, we're grouping by first and last name. Now let's run the code. So this is our output. Here we have the three columns that were required for our output, user first name, user last name, and the latest date. So we're about halfway there. Now the next step is to calculate the total number of distinct videos. To do that, we first need to find the count of distinct videos from the user flags table. The video ID column contains null values and we don't want any null values in our output table. To choose how to display the count, we will use the if null function. The if null function takes two arguments, the expression and an alternate value. If the value of the expression is not null, then that value will be displayed. However, if the value of the expression is null, 
then the alternate value will be displayed. This functionality comes in handy for us in this case, where we can display zero if the count of distinct videos is null for a particular video ID. Now, we will use this function once more in our query, but for now, let's write out the query. Before we move on to the next part of the query, let's turn our current query into a CTE or a common table expression to use later for our final output. Let's call that A. Here we're finding out the count of the distinct video IDs and displaying it as the number of videos by joining the table flag review and user flags. We're going to retrieve the columns, the review date, and the number of videos from this query. Now, from the merge table, we only need the videos that were removed post a review by YouTube. So we are filtering the videos by review outcome equals removed, and we are aggregating the table by review date. Now let's run that. And here we have it. We've got the required data. Now we only need to perform one final check before selecting them and displaying the results. So for each unique user, who of course has a video reviewed by YouTube, we also need to check for those who were not considered in our last query. This includes videos that got approved, for example. So the count value of these videos would need to be presented as zero in our final output because we only want the count of distinct videos that got removed post-review by YouTube. So again, we will use the if null function now let's write the query out, but before that, let's turn this also into a CTE. Now the second block is called B, and now we can write our query. Here we're selecting the first and last names from the A CTE, and we're performing a left join with B CTE on the latest review date column. So we have all the users and the latest date, and now we'll perform an if null function to display the appropriate number of video from the BCTE. And if it's null, we will add a zero in that place. So here's a final solution. Let's run it. And here's the output. We only have one user who's had a video reviewed by YouTube, but not removed. And therefore the value in the num videos column is zero. So here's the solution. And there we have it. We hope you learned the use of if null function in SQL through this video. To watch more SQL interview questions and learn more concepts, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you there.